to use strain gauges to measure the resonance frequency of a structure. Now in this example I'm going to use a 440 hertz A tuning fork simply because we know it will resonate at 440 hertz. Now before you place the strain gauges on any structure you need to understand where to put them. Now to demonstrate this I've ran a model analysis on the tuning fork. Interestingly, it's actually the fourth mode that we're interested in rather than the first. So if we look at the total displacement, you can see that the ends of the tuning fork move by the greatest amount relative to its base. Now, this is an ideal place to put up at the top here an accelerometer. It moved by the greatest amount, however, an accelerometer has mass may have cable attached. If it's wireless, it's going to even be heavier. So this sort of structure lends itself to using strain gauges. So down here, if we animate the tuning fork, you can see that both arms are mirror images of each other and the greatest stress will be generated down here therefore the greatest strain, we can put equal and opposite positive and negative gauges on the arms and get a good signal. We'll use a full bridge. We could also use a half bridge configuration by using a Poisson gauge and a bending uh, gauge. However, a full bridge is better. So once you've decided where to put them and you've stuck your gauges on, you need to condition the signal most strain gauges, the signal is only going to be in millivolts, so you need to amplify the signal so your data logger can read the signal. Now I'm using a conic analysis amplifier here. I've got 350 gain on the signal, and then I'm using a, an Arduino here set to 12-bit resolution and to record a frequency of 1000 Hz because we know the tuning fork is going to resonate at 440 Hz and we need to consider the alienizing frequency which will be 800 hertz a minimum of 800 hertz we need to record that so a thousand hertz should be fine so if we look at the signal by plotting it in real time just using pyqt graph in python You can see the time domain signal on the left here and your fast Fourier transform on the right. If I give the tuning for a tap, we see a nice big spike at the 440 Hz. So indeed, you can use string gauges to measure the frequency of the structure as well as understanding the stresses that are acting at the same time. I'll put a link below this video to the Arduino script to flash your board and the Python code so if you want to try this yourself you can give it a go. If you have any questions please get in touch. Thanks.